Hello, this is a demonstration of a tool that automatically renumbers artboards and page numbers quickly in Photoshop. This is the version two. The previous version was a little bit limited. So the first thing that we'll do is to load the script in Photoshop. So for that, we will use actions. We will create a new folder and we will call that for the name of the script. So once you download the script, you can go to the to the script and copy the name. You don't have necessarily to use the same name that the script, but yeah, to, to keep it simple, let's paste it here. This is the name of the folder. And now I will create an action with the same name and I will use a shortcut for the keyboard. In this case, the, the function kit F2 and a color, let's say yellow to make it more predominant and I will record an action and now I will load the script so I will go script browse and this is a script here so for, for the first time we don't want to run the script we just want to load the script so we can cancel for now and the script is here let's stop the action and now uh, in the action panel, you can see this, uh, all the action that you have like this, or you can see as a button. I recommend, uh, for example, if you disable this folder, this is a default folder from Photoshop. You can keep the new folder here, and then you can visualize this as buttons. So as you see here, you have the script or the tool is here and this is the key that it will run the script and if you close um, for the show and open again it's gonna stay there and the other thing is um, you need to keep the location so uh, where do you put it in your computer the photo show every time it will look this it will look for the script or the tool there if you change the name of the file or you change the location, uh, you will have to do this step again. Okay, now let's go to a sample. So this is a sample that it will come with a download file that you will get from the website. Here, everything is, um, this is uh, organized in a way that works. So you have a background, a bunch of layers, text layers, and this is the page number. This is the, the, the important layer here that you have to keep it every time. You have to keep it there uh, if you want to put page numbers in your design. So let's run the script. This time I will click it. So the script, you have three options. So the first is for you want to start for one number. So this is page one, two, three, and four. Uh, let's say I want to start for number one. I can choose that affects only the artboards, the artboards and the page numbers. So let's say artboards and page numbers on uh, only the page. So for now, the first time, let's run it for artboards only. You will go one, two, three, four. Now I will press F2 and I will choose artboard and, and I will start in 10. So you see the change working and now I will press F2 again and I will run a four page number. This is validated so you enter text or character it won't work you need to enter numbers here. Yeah, this is only work for numbers. This is uh, what the script does. So we'll start in 12, 12, 13, 14, 15 working and now let's try um, with a different sample, so a bigger sample. This is a, a bigger, so you have 40 some um, artboards here. Let's run the script. I will start with 2000 and I will choose both. Let's wait for a second. Depending of the computer of the hardware that you, you are using, it should take longer or less.
So here it's done. It's working. And now I have more, this is like a more real case scenario when you have uh, our boards and this is the page numbers. It's closer to a real life situation with a bunch of layer and different graphics, stuff like that. Just remember, the only thing you need to keep in mind here, you need to have a text number called page number in all the, all the artboards and then you can run your script and you can start in any any number 15 for example and done so i hope this tool help you in your workflow you can find a link to download the tool in the in the description of this video any suggestion any question please leave it in the comments of this video i will do my best to answer um, Thank you again. Enjoy.